Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne. So today we are going to go ahead and explore the uh, fishing hamlet. I am... I think I do not get to, uh... Um, get to orphan in this episode, but we're going to go ahead and explore the fishing hamlet. And I'm going to, uh, show you a few things here and there. I love this area and whatnot, man. I really do. It's just so nice. The enemies hiding under floors and... It's just such such a really cool area. The alert sound. It's just beautiful, man. I just love like the little dot sound, you know. Just really fun. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Ah, uh, it's hilarious, dude. So up ahead, you have like a little shaman dude that you want to like just rush. But right now, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and eliminate this guy. Just out of range. That's a uh, okay gem for the most part, but we already have all the max gems and whatnot, so I just want to show you show you yeah, you want to try and kill him quick, because if he's summoning the skulls at like close range, then it's like they're like a shotgun blast now here's a um, enemy that you can deal with very easily this guy is designed to pull you over to lure that guy over here. Shoot that. Instant kill, really easy. Very easy way to farm him as well if um, you just really suck at fighting him. Which a lot of people do, frankly. A lot of people do suck at fighting that enemy, so, you know, you can do that. Or you can do something else that. I mean, I don't. I'm not really going to do it, but I can, like, show you once I actually get to that area in a moment. And like I said, I just love that you can see them like under the floors and whatnot. It's just so cool. I love this area. Very nice attention to detail. Very nice enemy AI behavior and whatnot. I just think it's really cool. That alert sound is just hilarious to me. <laughs> A few items here and there. <coughs> That ladder, this is like the way that you can farm them. You farm, you do your um, bold hunter mark, and if you keep farming that shark guy, like I said, he can drop like 20% gems for physical, and he can drop like, you know, 20 plus percent for, um, for like thrust and blunt attacks. And you can parry him, you can parry the grab. Now, unfortunately, here, I was trying to not get grabbed, and I got grabbed. Because they do have poise. See, as you saw there. Now, if I toggle, you will actually see that I will stop him. If you toggle fast enough, then you can, in, in fact, uh, get out of grabs sooner rather than later. And so he gets shot in the face because he's a douchebag. So, you can toggle. If you don't, then he will actually keep hitting you. Not necessarily until you're dead, but it's better to actually toggle out just to be safe. But hey, at least I got to show off the grab, right? <laughs> now here's something really interesting. I want you guys to look at this and look at it closely. And just see how, like, hilarious it is. Now it's not that that guy just got murdered because of the own um, thing. Or that I did some accidental sick parry. Look at the freaking Molotov. It's like a double flame. Boom. And then it ignites again. Boom ignites again. Like, if you throw a Molotov and whatnot, and it did that, that would be amazing. Dude, I mean, it's, it's a double flame. Like, what is that? <laughs> now, if you listen closely, I'm not sure if a lot of people know this. You know, but, um, you can actually hear the bell for the uh, church assassin before 
um, like you actually hear it like really really loud in certain instances, but you have to like listen really carefully. You have to listen really carefully. I was just trying to be cool and like free aim it, but... I love the death animation for um... Flame dude, the like little jiggle that enemies do is just, it's just hilarious. I don't know why I was sucking so bad with my aim, <laughs> but nonetheless, that guy's down. We just come on up here, and that's the guy who was throwing Molotovs. Piece of crap. <clears throat> nice little fire gem. You know, question if you guys uh, are here. Interesting question. Do you guys like to actually farm for, um, like, gems? Yeah, like, do you hear that bell? Like I said, you can hear it before, like, certain instances, but you have to really try. But do you guys actually like to turn weapons into arcane weapons, or do you like to use weapons, like, that are already arcane weapons, you know? I don't like turning, say, like, the threaded cane into an arcane weapon. I'd much rather just use, like, an arcane weapon already. Ar arcane oriented weapon already. Yeah. That's just me. You can shoot these dogs, because they will, in fact, uh you know, do a little screech that paralyzes you pretty much. It's a guaranteed stun. It's annoying as oblivion. I like that, like, this grass, like, you're covered, but... I mean, it's not necessarily gonna stop you from getting hit or something. Make it hard to see, but... It just, it's just really cool. It's a cool little tidbit. I'd say that maybe if, um, you were trying to do PvP and you hid there, that, uh... You actually might be a little hard to see. Believe it or not. Like, if you did the little thing that turns you into a messenger note, I think. That'd be pretty cool. The reason I took the um, blue elixir is because there's another shark dude. And, um, he can be quite the uh, problem. If you're trying to run past uh, both of those things, he, he can be annoying. So now that we have this area, we have the underground cell key. We're not really going to go there because, like I said, you know, I don't really care to uh, do that quest. I, I just really care to finish the game. So certain things will be skipped, unfortunately. Now here's how you handle this guy right here. He's very easy to uh, handle. He does have some things that you have to watch out for, but the main thing that you need to know is he's going to have a lead elixir in a lot of instances, but... His weapon has a very predictable combo that he will do. One, two, and then overhead, and that's that. Always try and parry the overhead, and then you can obviously just charge attack to get the uh, wake up, and that's usually a wrap for him. Especially if you have a uh, very damaging visceral, you'll usually deal with him no problem. Because he will always try and do that, um, that, uh, that, like, long combo that the blunt letter has. Left, right, or, or it's right, left, I don't know. Horizontals, then the overhead, and that overhead is really easy to parry. You know, I actually want to, like, you know, experiment with the blood letter a bit. When I get the chance. I still just don't know if I'd really, uh, care for it, though, in all honesty. It's an interesting weapon, for sure, but... I don't know. It looks really cool, though. It looks really wicked. And I don't mean that like an oh, wicked dude. I just mean like it looks wicked, like just dark. Considering that it's literally like blood and literally looks like tissue, believe it or not. Like when you actually like transform it. It is really strong, though. I'm not sure how strong it is like for um uh like just regular enemies, but. PvP, that thing is a nightmare. That little freaking AoE one-shots a lot of stuff. Look at the 
turquoise. Son of a gun. It's getting in our way. Um, I hope you guys can't hear that. There is a, uh, plane flying overhead, and it's a lot louder than usual. So I hope that you guys actually can't hear that. That would be quite nice, in all honesty. If you could not. These, like, little slug women are very interesting. They're the actual cause parasites, like all these snails on the ground and whatnot, like all these blue little things. That's actually them in the mature state. But it's just very interesting that that's a parasite that was in cause. Does this, like, do they, like, grow in there and then they mature outwardly or something? Now, look at this grab. So freaking random, dude. Like a freaking kiss or something. With a whole bunch of screaming. So random. Obviously, if you just hit their uh, body part, that's the uh, weak spot. They sound so sad when they die. Just crying and whatnot. I was trying to um, hit him with the uh, thrust attack because it's bonus damage because it's kin, but still. Very interesting enemy, I will say. Very interesting enemy indeed. Here's a little something that you can do if you didn't know. When you're dealing with these things that are trying to jump on you, you can shoot them right in the air and they'll just pop right back on the ground. It's pretty much just like extra protection if you didn't um, dodge away or something. You can just shoot them right in the air and they're going to fall right back down and that's an easy cleanup. Look at them. <laughs> Try to aim it for. They're really interesting. Like I said, this is just another example. He invades you like once you go over to see that item so that you're cornered. Remember. The moment he does that overhead, he, his, his death is fixed, especially if you've got a pistol or any kind of, like, a, uh, you know, quick shooting gun. He's done. Oh, I can't. No. <laughs> nice little overview that you get to see of that area. And I'm very curious, like, can you see uh, if someone was fighting Orphan? Like, would you be able to see them from there? That'd be quite interesting. Now, this was very dumb of me. I could have thrown in a knife, because you can do that, but... I was like, hey, let me just show you that you can charge in, and I got nearly annihilated by all those freaking skulls. Bam. Complete destruction. Mm -mm. Hope you guys are enjoying your day so far. It's uh, Tuesday when I'm recording this. The 1st of June. Hope everyone who is... I mean, back when I was in school, I actually didn't uh, leave school until it was like June 6th or something like that. But if you are out of school right now, if you're enjoying your summer. I've <laughs> been out of school for three years so far. Well, four actually. Four, four years. And um, I am still enjoying it to this day. I still enjoy not having to get up and going back to that accessible... <laughs> So anyone who's uh, enjoying their summer break, please enjoy it. Spend it well. Be active. You know. And maybe try and learn about things that are actually useful in life. Because I can tell you, school isn't really <laughs> working.
At least the current way that it is. You hear that nightmare? Lord have mercy. That's a big freaking nope. And I was just being a little goofball over here, and I was like, oh, where's that, um... Where's that emote? Little beg for mercy one. I was like, please, spare me. Not the winter lanterns, you know. <laughs> but, uh... Blue elixir for the win. You just take one of these, you run past them, and... We have sedatives, so we, we can offset the frenzy. And whatnot. They actually can drop really good gems as well, like cursed gems, but... They're winter lanterns. Do you really want to farm a winter lantern? You know, like... I don't. You have to farm them in such a ridiculous way. You have to parry them perfectly. And it's harder to parry a grab compared to an actual attack. Mainly because, like, the animation is pretty much the same for the most part. Um... I, I don't know... I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just weird. It's really weird, in all honesty, you know? But at the end of the day, they, that is a very good way to get... They have a very good drop rate for cursed gems, but... if You know, like, I, I'd just rather take the, uh, shark guy and get guaranteed 20% gems if I spend enough time than hope that I get, you know, an okay cursed gem or not. I also just wanted to showcase that you can, in fact, walk around him. That's pretty, um... Pretty cool as well. Just walking around them. I just wanted to showcase that, you know. Threaded snipe, baby. The threaded cheese. The scream. I, it just gives me a drum. Whoa! Counter damage. <laughs> More slug women. Come on, do it. Oh. I want her to jump. <laughs> it's alright. And I was like, I'm not even about to run past that. I can just homeward out of here. Well, it's not homeward in this game. It's Hunter Mark. But nonetheless, we've got it. And thus, we are pretty much complete for this uh, little playthrough. We've explored most of the uh, fishing hamlet. That's another blood rock that we collected. Just wanted to show that to you because now that's the only way that you can have two blood rocks in this game aside from actually farming for insight. Which the blood rock is 60 insight when it should be, for me personally, be like 30 to 40 tops. You know? I feel like 30 is a good a good point. But you, you can just farm the dungeons for insight and just keep doing the first dungeon over and over. And do it that way. But, I don't know. It's still dumb that you have to do that instead of being able to buy it for like a reasonable price or farm it in the base game. I'd rather just farm it like from the insight shop, but it should again be like 30, I feel. But that's pretty much it guys, um, I'm just buying, you know, items here and there so that we can conclude in the normal fashion and whatnot, stocking up on bolt hunter marks. I could level up, I know that I said previously again, though I'd want to just stay at level 75 just to show you that you don't necessarily need to have, you know, super high health, super high stamina and whatnot, you can just be... An okay amount of, uh, leveled, an okay amount of leveled, or have an okay amount of levels, I, I guess that would be the proper term, and you can, you know, beat this game just fine, you won't really struggle that much, and, yeah, that's pretty much just about it, so I'm just, uh, going to go ahead and conclude this, I want to thank everyone of you guys who is still watching it, and even if you aren't necessarily watching right now, I hope that this playthrough is a playthrough that you guys, in fact, do deserve, because I really am not pleased with the first one, and so this playthrough has gone very smoothly i vastly prefer the post commentary and i'm glad that you are enjoying this if you are in fact watching i would like to thank you all for watching as always god bless and i will see you next